as far as lyrics and the ability to, to slice them up with the tongue, the brat. I love Eve and I love Nikki. I only know Nikki. Right, so you can't speak on me. I know the rest <laughs> of them, but they ain't standing next to Nikki. When the last time you heard a brat CD of her song? Her back song? She made one to Judy. No. I'm no. talking about when she was out there doing she her thing no, hard. She dropped the song. I'm talking about. That's the last thing she dropped. I owned her Funkified, her CD. That's what I'm talking about. When the last time you listened to Funkified? Straight from the 606 folk boat is the Brett. Never. So, what I'm saying is. What's up, what's up, what's up, and welcome back to My Two Cents. I am Miss O, and she is Charisma. And today we are reviewing Nicki Minaj's new song and video, Red Ruby, The Sleeves. The Sleeves. The Sleeves. <laughs> but before we get into that, Fact check. Just the facts, ma'am. You guys know the other woman's Nicki Minaj is in the video with is Brooke Bailey from the franchise Basketball Wise. Did you know that? I don't know who she is. <laughs> I bet y'all didn't know that. And they're actually good friends in real life. Didn't know that? Okay, so first we are going to take a look at Nicki Minaj's overall look and appearance in the video. Okay. So let me start by saying Nikki is always gorgeous. <laughs> always. I am a Nikki fan. She is always gorgeous. Her wardrobe is always on point. I don't know if she has a personal stylist or she just knows how to style herself. Either way, it's always thumbs up when Nikki walks in the building to me. In this video, she looks, once again, gorgeous. I can't say that she looks thicker. Okay. Then she, uh, then she's been looking. She looks thicker, but her thicker look looks more natural. Yeah, it so, looks better on. It fits her better than before when she was small and had her little surgery add-ons. It don't look how they've been trying to make it seem in the media. They was, oh, she looked like she gonna look like little Kim, or she look all cartoonish. No, she actually looked like a natural woman that you see up and down the street. Right, her. Her body in this video because she's showing a little more than she usually does i think uh these days since she had that baby mm -hmm. and it looks natural it makes her surgeries look actually natural mm -hmm. when before like you said it just kind of looked like add-ons added some hips added some butt now it actually looks like she's a thick chick mm -hmm. you know, she came with the thickness so thumbs up on that my favorite outfit mm -hmm. in the video is her in the pink the little pink sweater with the pink shorts and the pink top. I believe the her purse and shoes were Chanel, mm -hmm. and then the sweater outfit itself was Fendi. I could actually see myself rocking that outfit, so I love that one. I love you know her hair for that outfit was my favorite. One. I like Nikki and red hair. Like her red hair to me just pop, it just stand out. Mm -hmm. But my favorite outfit was actually I like. I want to say it's the outfit, but she, to me, the best pieces was the black ones. Like, I like when she had the Chanel bathing suit on, but with that varsity jacket. Like, I love varsity jackets. Okay. So, I like that one, but I also like the look when she had the Louis Vuitton shorts on with the Chanel slides. So, gotta choose one. <laughs> Which one is the best? I said, I like pieces. Because <laughs> that but varsity jacket is not really an outfit. She just put a bathing suit on with a jacket on. Okay, but it's a look. So, it's like, you like that look? Because she had the little gym shoes on, too. Um, you like know, the Chanel, uh, Chanel was shoes. Was it a slide or shoes? No, that was Chanel uh, sneakers. Sneakers, right. Yeah. So she had the sneakers on, the swimsuit, and the jacket. That was a look. And then you said the Louis Vuitton shorts. And with the Chanel slides and the Chanel purse. Which look, look would you vibe with the most? I can't choose. I like them both. <laughs> anyway, Nikki is always I'm gorgeous. I'm one step from a bar. Just to let y'all know in real life. Okay. So next we are going to go into the lyrics of the song. And pick out our favorite lyrics. 
bar, line, whatever in the song. <laughs> now, my favorite part of the song, or favorite uh, line in the song, is when she says, I don't F with horses since Christopher Reeves. The hunting on the horses when we fixing the leaves, but I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. Mm -hmm. Because interesting to know that this younger generation knows Christopher Reeves as the man who fell off the horse and broke his neck. Mm -hmm. But that ain't who he is. Okay. That is not who is he? Who we know Christopher Reeves for. Who is Christopher Reeves? Christopher Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually the original Superman from the movies. Up on the screen, it's Superman. Superman, the movie. Back in 1978, Superman, the movie dropped, and Christopher Reeves was that guy. Was that in color or black and white? It was in color. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like I said, he it dropped in 1978, and I believe there were about three more sequels that he played in as Superman. So that's who he really is. He's Superman. And the joke was, this is back in, I believe it was 1999, mm -hmm. Chris Rock did a whole, I would say, skit slash joke about Superman not being able to walk. That's right. You get paralyzed, they don't got shit for you. Look at Christopher Reeves paralyzed. Superman can't walk. What kind of sorry ass shit is that? Superman can't walk. What's next? What the fuck? Uh, Aquaman gonna drown in the tub? So, that's actually who Christopher Reeves is. Oh, hi. Okay, nice to meet you. Come and, go. and if you didn't know, now you know. Well, also in that lyrics, Y'all could say it could be about Christopher Reeves, but my generation thinks that lyric was about Megan the Stallion, you know, Stallion. Christopher Reeves fell off a horse. It can be a, you know, read between the lines type of thing. If you don't know, her and Megan are not really cool like that nowadays. And then also, she also made another lyric that says that 40 Cal make him dance like a go-go. Mm -hmm. If you know, in the news with Tory Lanez and Megan, a 40 caliber Glock 22 <laughs> was found on the scene and it was reported, allegedly, he told her to dance B while he was shooting the ground. What? You fucking bozo. That 40 caliber make him dance like a go go. Well, she don't mess with her. Megan the Stallion, Stallion, Horse, Breeze, Fall Horse, play on words. Oh, what's mm. that? Is she shady? Megan the Stallion? Because it ain't like Nicki on Shade people in her lyrics. She's known for doing it. She put a twist on it. She put this right here, but it really mean this right here. Okay. So. Okay. That's just, you know, possibility. It could be about Superman falling off a horse. Or it can be about her. How she really feel about Megan the Stallion? My favorite lyric is, when the queen leave these come out like a cockroach. Until I'm in the kitchen cooking like a pot roast. When the queen leave bitches when they come out like a cockroach. Until I'm cooking in the kitchen like a pot roast. <laughs> That's my favorite lyric because <laughs> it's true. When they think Nikki's somewhere chilling, hibernating, they want to hurry up and push all these other than wannabe new Nikki's up out of here in the industry. You trying to push that hard. Who the fuck told bitches they was mean now? Okay. But the barbs ain't having that. Nikki will always remain. And reign the queen of rap because she's she that girl, is. she's that Sam, she's that icon. She she's what all they all aspire to be. So, my favorite lyric. Okay, you have our two favorite lyrics. <laughs> okay, and next we are going to talk about the video itself, the video quality, uh, the video's ability to tell a story. So let me just say. The song dropped, what, about two months ago? Yeah. So they had two months <laughs> to get this right. Because to me, the video just looked like a bunch of random stuff kind of like thrown together. It didn't really look like there was a storyline of anything that made sense. I feel like they used the budget on Nikki's wardrobe. Because they didn't use it on... On, on the video itself. Yeah, because to me, it seemed more like a vlog. Like somebody said, get a camera, follow me around my house. Pretty follow much. me around down while I'm in Times Square. 
just follow me. And Thanks. but you know what I also kind of feel like after artists be in a game for so long, they start doing what they want to do. Like she probably tired of doing all that. Like coming wearing all the theatric and stuff like that. She wanna chill. I just wanna rap. Y'all know what I prove to y'all what I can do. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I <laughs> kind of feel that, but still, these days we want to see a show, you know. And the show in this video is Nikki's wardrobe, pretty much. Or you know what? It could be her private life. You know, she saw her husband in there. I don't yeah, know. he does have a little, a little quick little cameo appearance. I, I did know, see her husband. I don't know who that other man is, but I'm pretty sure he's somebody to her. Probably, probably, probably one of her goons, one of her people she talked about mm -hmm. in the song. Right, maybe. So. And then she got a friend, Brooke. And then that's her house. She doing all that stuff at who's her Brooke Nick, house or Nikki's, Nikki's house? Oh, Nikki's yeah, house. that's okay. Nikki house. So we like pretty much in her personal setting. So like you said, kind of like, like a vlog, vlog. Kind of yeah. like a vlog type video. Okay, and I guess it makes a little bit yeah. more sense. But I do want to say, mm -hmm. I love Nikki Carr. She had that pink Rolls Royce. Fingers like niggas doing the bow go. You fucking bows up. Mm -hmm. and I wonder, like, how many pink cars does Nikki actually have? I think she got three. Three. Yeah, it's a Bentley, Royce Royce, and a Lamborghini Aventador. Okay, okay. Mm. But I love them all, <laughs> definitely. But overall, like I can say the video to me it lacks a little bit of luster. Um, but I love Nikki, so I watch it. You know, I'm not watching it for the video, the storyline per se. I'm watching it just to see what Nikki is wearing. Right, that girl like dot 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 me. I just like Nicki Minaj. To me, she can't do no wrong. Video ain't her best. But like I said, it looks like she's just having fun. Just I'm enjoying myself. I'm gonna give y'all these bars, which y'all know I'm always gonna deliver on. Mm -hmm. And I'm having fun at this point. She in a bathing suit, ball. I think was that she's giving them body. That's why I really think she's having fun. And now I wonder if this is under her label or the record, or she's whoever she signed to, because you know she's got her own label now. Oh, okay. Interesting question to find out. Okay, so now we are going to talk about the song itself, the overall song. So let's first address the title. Okay. Red Ruby the Sleaze. Play. Only on them seas if it's breeze. Red Ruby the Sleaze. The Sleaze. The, the Sleaze. Red Ruby the Sleaze. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, it's interesting that she chose Red Ruby. Why? Because Red Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> See, about wine me. Because <laughs> Red Ruby, it, it signifies uh, faithfulness and devotion in a relationship. And it also uh, signifies like sensuality. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting that she chose Red Ruby uh, as part of the title. And I wonder is the undertone of this um, song about her relationship like with her husband is there something in there in the song about their relationship or is it just about her and relationships in general it's my take i don't know i kind of feel like when i was doing a little research and stuff like that they were saying it's pretty much a new alter ego we all know roman we know martha and here comes red ruby it's another alter ego you know she's full of those she got three personalities wrapped up into one little bottle. It's okay. actually one of those. Those are just the three ones we know about. Okay, simple. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we love Nikki. We love her. Right. Um, no Nikki slander will be tolerated <laughs> over here at my yeah, team. We love Nikki. We team Barb's. Mm -hmm. um, so overall, the song itself, I like the song. Yeah, it's uh, catchy. It's, to me, it's a little light for a Nicki Minaj song because yeah, Nikki usually goes just a little bit harder, I would say. But Nikki is one of the best in the game, I would say. Her, her she is the best in the game. She's one of the best in the game. When I say that, I mean it's like Nikki, and then we go backwards. It's like Nikki, then it's, I like the brat. Straight from the 606 folk boat is the brat. At E, we go that way. We don't go this way. We be talking she's about still the better best. than all of them. Uh, they, that's going to be another discussion because. Uh, they're not the full package. She's the. No, no. Full I'm package. talking about bars. I'm talking about. When it comes to how Nikki raps and her little uh, shots that she give or whatever, if you listen to the brat, I mean her old school stuff, the brat gives it. Same thing with Eve. Oh, Eve gonna be lasting. Eve gives it as well. Different 
uh, time frame, you know, as far as rap, rap has progressed and developed a little bit different. But as far as lyrics and the ability to, to, to slice them up with the tongue, the brat, I love Eve and I love Nikki. I only know Nikki. Right, so you can't speak on me. I know the rest <laughs> of them, but they ain't standing next to Nikki. When the last time you heard a brat CD, a rapper her song? A rap song? She made one to Judy. No. I'm no. talking about when she was out there doing she her thing no, hard. She dropped the song. I'm talking about. That's the last thing she dropped. I owned her Funkified, her CD. That's what I'm talking about. When the last time you listened to Funkified? Never. So, what I'm saying is, she not lyricists from, from back in the day, to me, were um, a little better. As far as, well, I don't want to say a little better, but when I think of Nicki Minaj, I, I think of the Brad, I think of Eve, as far as the ability to to say slick stuff or whatnot. A lot of these other rappers that are out here today, to me, they're like cat in the hat rappers. This stuff is elementary school. You know, it's that's how I feel about the back in the day. Like, well, you know what? It really they flow. depends on how far back you go. I say really, they flow is lame. Like they can't really switch their flow up. Even when they try to rap on today beats, they still off beat. Kind of like Remy Ma. Like, where on? <laughs> you know, is we're getting off topic. Shade? I'm, I'm, we're off topic. <laughs> is she throwing shade over there? Yeah. Off topic. So let's get back on topic, which is Nicki Minaj, the queen of rap. She, she, yeah. I love Nicki Minaj. She is one of the best, and I will stand on that and leave it at that. Ain't nobody accomplished what she did. Ain't nobody go to the level to take it the way she did. Yeah, it's called progression. As rap develops, it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Back when um, Eve or like Salt and Pepper out. The, the things Mom. that they uh, they tried to, they couldn't do what Nikki is able to do today. So that's why, like you say, Nikki is a full package. It's because she has the ability to do things that Salt and Pepper and the rest of them couldn't do. But they paved the way. No longevity. What? No longevity. <laughs> Who? Them. Salt and Pepper? Yeah. They got in and hopped out. They know they didn't consistently. I'm gonna need you to check your facts. I'm gonna need you to do some more fact checking before you start slandering people now. I'm gonna need they you to check no, the facts. Nikki going on what 15 years? Ain't never stopped. I'm gonna ain't need never you flopped, to check ain't your never drops. Ain't never flopped. Ain't never stopped. Ain't never dropped. Anti way. This is gonna be a whole nother discussion. Old school versus new school. We gonna drop that soon. <laughs> we gonna drop that soon. But this song here, I give it a thumbs up. Me too. So. Internet got a question. Do you think Nicki Minaj is the best female rapper or rapper, period, in the game right now? Let us know. Drop your two cents below. See ya.